It started out as an April Fool's Day joke, and it turned into one of their best-selling items of all time. The Curter Burger is back at Culver's. Goblin, Destin Goblin here. This is where I will try a food product of some kind, maybe something you didn't even know existed, and I will decide whether or not I should give it my Destin Goblin seal of approval. <laughs> it is a dark, rainy day here in North Dakota. It's been raining for about a week now, I think. I don't know if this is the official start of autumn, if that's what it looks like here in North Dakota. We are almost done with Mrs. Goblin's assignment up here. We're going to be heading to a new area very shortly. Uh, but I had to brave the rain today in order to get out there and try one of these items that I have been wanting to try for a very long time and I have not had the opportunity to do so. That item is the Curter Burger. That is what this is right here. This comes to us from Culver's. I love Culver's burgers. I love their butter burgers. This one actually started as a practical joke. This was an April Fool's Day joke that they had posted, Culver's had posted on their social media saying that they were going to create a burger that had a giant cheese curd on it. Now, of course, Culver's is a Wisconsin-based burger chain, and when we were in Wisconsin, I knew about Culver's long before then. We had them in Florida. Um, I've been to Culver's many times, but when we got to Wisconsin, we really experienced cheese curds. I knew about cheese curds before that, too, but in Wisconsin, cheese curds are everywhere, and they are fantastic if they are breaded and fried, a lot of different ways that you can prepare them, and I absolutely fell in love with cheese curds. So Culver's, in 2021, I believe it was, came out with this April Fool's Day prank on their social media. They posted this burger saying that they were going to create this Curter Burger, which had a giant cheese curd on it, but they were never intending to actually do that. It was just for April Fool's Day. Well, the response to it was so great that by the end of the year, they decided, okay, you know what? We really have to try this. We have to make this and see what happens. So they brought it out as a one-day item, and I believe it was only in select stores. I did not have the opportunity to get that. I can't remember if I was, this is before I retired, so I can't remember if I was still working that day or if it was only in certain areas and it wasn't in my area, but I did not get to experience the Curter Burger in 2021. 2022 comes around and Culver's releases this item again for a limited time. And because of circumstances and things that were going on, I, at that time, I did not have an opportunity to try it then either, and that was because I, this is back when I was up in Maine, and there were no Culver's around me. So, finally, now, Culver's has put it out nationwide, supposedly for the entire month of October, or until they run out, and I have a Culver's right around the corner from me, so I finally got an opportunity to grab this one. This is $7, a little over $7, I think it was $7.28. It's 920 calories for this thing, and probably most of that comes from that giant cheese curd that you can see on there. So you've got one patty, you've got that breaded, deep-fried cheese curd, you've got lettuce, tomato, pickles, and mayo. Now, you can add other things to this if you would like. This is the basic form of the Curter Burger. For an extra fee, you can add bacon, you can add um, extra pickles, uh, jalapenos, ketchup, mustard, basically all the different condiments that you could imagine, you can add those as well. I went with just the basic version just to see what everything is all about. I do have my little alien buddy here all loaded up with some uh, nice cold water to help me uh, wash it all down, and let's see what we get here. Now, if there is one thing that I am a little bit afraid of on this one, it is that cheese curd. Um, because I'm thinking specifically of, I remember when Wendy's came out with the, what was it, the Italian, I forgot what it was called, the Italian burger or something like that, where it had that giant slab of deep fried 
mozzarella cheese on it and it really dried out the burger and it was just too much breading it was just too much cheese and it overpowered everything and i was not very impressed with that one at all let's hope that that is not the downfall of the curter burger because of the success of this thing and how it sells out whenever culver's actually puts it out and thinking that there's probably more flavor here, there's probably more um, uh, juiciness in this burger than we saw in Wendy's with that giant slab of mozzarella. This is also cheddar cheese. Let's see if I can sort of turn that around. You can kind of see that cheese peeking out from the back of the um, uh, breading there. So you know that this is cheddar cheese, a uh, little bit of a different type of cheese than mozzarella, so maybe not as dry. Here we go. I have waited for this thing for about three years now. So let's see what we get. Mm. Wow, that is flavor. Um, the butter burger is the same as always. Um, you know, it that the way they make them at Culver's with the with the butter. It locks in that flavor. It gives it that nice sear. And then that cheese curd it brings so much flavor. That cheddar, there's a really good flavor on that cheddar. Sometimes, you know, cheddar can go different ways. You can have a mild cheddar. You can have a sharp cheddar. This one seems kind of maybe in the middle. I wouldn't say exactly mild, but I also would not say sharp. Um, but powerful flavor on this. And then, um, you know, the, the lettuce, I got a bite of pickle on that one too. So that contributed to it, gave it a little extra saltiness. Good stuff. Mm. I had all different flavors of cheese curds in Wisconsin. You can add all different kinds of seasonings to it. Um, I think that was really where Wendy's failed on that Italian burger. I wish I could remember what the name of that one was that they put out. I think that that slab of mozzarella that was on there, it was it, it was almost a little bit too dry of a cheese. And I think if they had used something like a cheese curd on it, they would have had much more success. This is excellent. Perfect amount of mayo on there. Good flavor to the breading of the cheese curd itself, which contributes more to the flavor of the sandwich. Also, perfect amount of pickles. Good flavor on the pickles. That one is excellent. If I had to do something a little bit different with it, I might give it just a little bit more heat. If I go back and get another one of these, I may actually add the jalapenos. I think it was another 50 cents to add jalapenos to it and raise that, that spice level. I might do that because I think that would make just about a perfect burger in that case. But as it stands, this is excellent, and that is a three-star seal of approval. All right, there we go. That is the Curter Burger at Culver's. It is available for a limited time until the end of October or when supplies run out. I am going to brave the rain here and head back home, and I will catch you next time.